Hey, welcome back to Baird Squared. In this video, we're going to be learning about theoretical probability. Coming up. Okay, so when a six-sided die is rolled, we expect that each of the outcomes will be equally likely to occur. We say that the theoretical probability of any given outcome occurring is 1 in 6, or 1 over 6. For example, the probability of rolling a 2 is 1 out of 6, because there's 1 2 out of 6 possible outcomes. So when the outcomes of an experiment are equally likely, the probability of an event E occurring is given by the following formula. Probability of E is equal to the number of favourable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Now, you're welcome to pause the video here and write that down because we're going to be using that formula to solve the following questions. Okay, let's crack on with an example. 37 people applied for a job at a toy store. 11 were selected for an interview and from these people, 3 were offered a position at the store. A. Find the probability that a randomly selected applicant was 1. Offered a position 2. Interviewed but not offered a position and 3. Not selected for an interview. Okay, so for part one, the probability of being offered a position, well, we know that there were three applicants who were offered a position at the store. So that means our favorable outcomes will be three. And the total number of possible outcomes we know were 37 people. So that will be out of 37. So therefore, the probability of being offered a position is three over 37. Okay, so for part two, the probability of being interviewed but not being offered a position well, we know that 11 candidates were selected for an interview, but out of these, 3 were offered a position. So we need to do 11 minus 3, which is 8 people who were interviewed but not offered a position. Now remember, the total possible outcomes is still 37. So that's going to be 8 out of 37. Okay, for part three, not selected for an interview, I'm going to be talking about the complement of an event. So the complement of an event E is E dash, and this is the event that E does not occur. For any event E, the probability of E dash is one minus the probability of the event occurring. So in our example, the probability of not being selected for an interview would be equal to one minus the probability of being selected for an interview. Now from the information we know, that 11 people were selected for an interview. So 1 minus 11 out of 37, which is basically the same as saying 37 over 37 minus 11 over 37, which is equal to 26 out of 37. So therefore, 26 out of 37 people were not selected for an interview. Okay, stick around for the next question. It's a tough one, but I'm going to show you how to solve it. It says, Sean is playing a board game. To win, he needs to roll a 10 or more with a pair of dice on his next turn. There are 11 possible outcomes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So think about it. When you're rolling two die, if you roll one die and the, and the second die, then these are the possible outcomes that you could get. And three of these outcomes, 10, 11, and 12, will result in him winning the game. Sean therefore says that the probability that he will win the game is 3 out of 11. Now explain the flaw in Sean's reasoning. So I would encourage you to pause the video here and attempt this question for yourself. When you're ready and you think you've solved it, press play and I'll show you my work solution. So the best way to solve this question is to do a sample space. Now I've got a grid with die 1 and die 2 and I have outcomes 1 to 6 on die 1 and outcomes 1 to 6 on die 2 and if I roll them both together then these are the possible outcomes I can get. Now in total there are 36 possible outcomes but from these possible outcomes there are 11 combinations so you've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and they repeat. However the flaw in Sean's reasoning is because the 11 possible outcomes are not equally likely to occur. So think about it, 2 can only occur once, whereas 8 can occur 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So the 11 possible outcomes are not equally likely. Now in Sean's case, in order for him to win, he needs to get 
10 or above. So if we look at the probability of getting a 10, well that's only 3 out of 36, and 11 would be 2 over 36, and getting a 12 is only 1 out of 36. So if we add the probabilities together, 3 over 36, 2 over 36, and 1 over 36, the probability of Sean winning is 6 out of 36, which is 1 over 6. Now I'll let you be the judge of this. Comment in the section below, what do you think is better? 3 out of 11 or 1 in every 6 chance of him winning the game? So as always, thank you for watching and if you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I do read all of your comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more math videos and watch the next video in our series, which is about compound events and using more two-dimensional grids. I'll see you in the next one.